God is trying to reach out and talk to you. He's inviting you home with open arms. What you are feeling inside is meant for something, for a purpose. One thing have I asked of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. You have good character, and even though you've made mistakes, you can still grow from them. If you beg God to forgive you, he will do so because he loves you. God desires to support you through this trying moment in your life. He is exerting every effort to ease the anguish of people caused by the tragedy. Try praying to God for guidance if you're having problems determining your life's purpose. Dear God, I'm here because of you. Thank you for never leaving my side and for guiding me through the difficulties that life throws at me. I know that whatever I face moving forward, you will be here with me. I know that the world can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be. You are powerful and precious. I will be on your side the entire time. You're cherished. Although I am not silent in your life, I am aware that you may feel isolated or misunderstood. Even when it seems like I should, I won't abandon or leave you. Examples of coincidences that appear to match up perfectly include finding a toy ostrich shortly after seeing the word ostrich on a billboard, or glancing at your watch and noticing that the time. Another important factor is intuition, particularly in terms of how you react to patterns and cues. If you just ask, I'm always available and prepared to assist. Making yourself do it is the most difficult aspect of asking for assistance. Do not be afraid of the future. I am telling you this while I am here with you today. There are many opportunities there. Be fearless of change. It is a chance for development, advancement and education. Be not terrified of the unknown. It will open up new avenues for you to travel along, as well as new chances and lessons to learn. Try new things and don't be afraid to fail because failure is a necessary part of the process. You should not be scared of God or anything else in this world, according to God, because he is in charge. He wants you to have faith in him, be at peace with everything in this world, and trust him. God cares about everyone in the world, even those who have harmed others or even themselves. A pen and paper should be close at hand when you go to sleep, because you'll experience colorful dreams throughout the next few weeks that are filled with different symbols. God is saying to you, each of us has received a gift from God that no one else could have given us, the gift of eternal life received through belief in Jesus Christ. In other words, everyone on earth has the ability to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, believe in God, acknowledge that Jesus died for our sins, and that he rose from the dead. Then completely give your life to him so that he can use it for his good purposes here on earth. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Subscribe this channel for more God blessings. I give link in video description of playlist of God blessings. Watch it for more blessings.